Hello guys, this is uh, Alex here, car guy with Michael Stewart of Bellevue. Hope you're all doing, been doing well. Just wanted to reach out and send you this uh, walk around video today, guys. This is a brand new 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Platinum gas model all wheel drive, uh, silver with black interior. So I just wanted to, uh, it's in stock and available. Great vehicle, they're, they're getting very, very popular. Um, dealers start seeing them more and more and so do we. Um, of course, the more availability is on the gas models that I mentioned you guys on the previous video. So that's why I actually have a couple available. I have one XLE black on black. This is the base model, also gas all wheel drive. And then uh, this is the Platinum. I decided to make a video on the Platinum because of course it's a, it's a nicer vehicle. It's got a lot nicer features. So I wanted to show you guys what that is all about. So this is the, the specs on it right here. MSRP 56,647, average for economy of 22. So that's still silver with a uh, black leather interior. And then as far as packages, we have the all other floor liner mats, roof rack crossbars, a uh, logo side photo lamp, which actually is pretty cool. And we got the tall hitch receiver with the wiring. So I wanted to show you the features. Some of them are new to me, uh, but it, it looks very great. And I want to show you what I love about it. I love the size actually. The silver platinum looks really good with the, the platinum wheel size. Uh, one thing I will mention, you, you can get an optional black wheels, um, which, which costs, I think, close to 2000 I think about $1,600. i am not exactly sure, but right, right around that range if you don't like the chrome ones on the Platinum. So you can get a black wheels, and they're actually optional on the Limited too. So very, very important to keep that in mind. Um, as far as the exterior goes, I mean, this one has the full LED headlights and fog lights. Uh, looks very nice. Um, definitely resembles the body style of the RAV4 a little bit more um, if you notice that you know maybe a much much larger RAV4 than the older body Highlander the 23s uh, we got the front and rear parking sensors which is really nice the 360 bird's eye view camera um, and then we got to uh, check out the wheels I mean this one has Yokohama tires on it but they're 20 inch wheels um, and I, like I said I personally like them uh, I've had few inquiries people ask specifically for the black wheels you can get them it's just additional package as far as the interior goes guys this is the black leather interior they're very comfortable very soft um, if you get a hybrid max uh, you get an ultra suede interior on a limited or platinum which is very beautiful I love the trim by the way you get this nice trim with that black interior black leather interior you get memory seats um very nice actually the design how they you know you see they got a little curve on that looks really good um automatic windows of course uh rear window and lock the activation uh you got the power windows too so check it out fold your mirrors uh, power folding mirrors or you can leave them on automatic to where you when you close lock the doors they basically fold in so you got um these ways adjustable on the seat you can adjust the front cushion you got lumbar you can adjust it up and down um, but yeah the seat is very comfortable within the seat you also have both heated three stages of heated and ventilated seats which is very nice um you got the windshield wiper deicer uh, heated side mirrors and three zone climate control of course because it's a Grand Highlander 12.3 inch display uh, the really big one now the the nice thing with that is you got the heads up display as you see you got the it tells you like lane departure alert miles per hour speed limit and whether or not you're in park or drive um, and this little thing right here guys is the user profile face recognition so that's part of the features that a car has part of the digital key uh, you got all the safety features, lane departure alert, full range dynamic cruise control. Um, you got the automatic high beams. You got the crash avoidance system, which is the most advanced. Um, and this is the digital back view mirror. This is really cool. Some people don't like it. I do, but you have the automatic dimming. You have the, um, um, the garage door openers right here, and you can use it as a digital key. Uh, you also have the wireless and phone charger right here. I will describe the design of this as a con, to be completely honest with you. Uh, just, you know, if you're taking turns, that will kind of move your phone unless you have some kind of other case. But, you know, it's, um, you know, you have it, it's great, you know, but your phone can move. Uh, so I'd suggest maybe get a better case if you do that. Uh, you have the 360 panoramic view camera. You know, you touch it right here, shows you a 360 view angle. Uh, when you put the car in reverse, of course, it shows you that view. If you put the car in drive, 
and press the view monitor button. You can actually leave that on auto to where when you drive forward, it will show you up to eight miles an hour. For above that, about 10 miles an hour, it will go away basically. Okay, put it back in park. Of course, push the start button. You got electronic parking brake with a hill hold, engine start and stop system with your stop light, vehicle traction stability control, and these are your modes of driving. You got mud and sand, you flip it to the left or flip it to the right, rock and dirt, normal. You got eco, you see how it shows you eco, and you got sport, it basically kind of shows you different colors. Uh, you see so rock and dirt, you got mud and sand, or you got normal, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. I love the central console, by the way, it's very deep, you got a ton of room. Um, pretty cool, you got another power plug right back here. These are the tools for the roof rack crossbars. Another USB plug right there, that's pretty sweet. Glove box, another compartment tray right here. Again, love that trim, looks good. And then I love the pan roof, guys, I'll show you that. You got the panoramic sunroof, it's ginormous. Of course, it's a Grand Islander, you can't blame it. You can open the front part, tilt it up or slide it open. Well, of course you can close the uh, shade itself with that button right here. You can close it all the way, it's so cool. And then um, on the back seat, kind of show you the configuration right here. These are the all weather floor mats that come with the vehicle, I'm taking them out. Love the wideness of the side panels. You got cup holders, you got tray here, you got sunscreens. And you actually have AC120 in the back. You got two more USBs and both heated and cooling seats in the back with climate control functions. How cool is that? Uh, and I always show that you got the, this is the captain seat. Every Platinum will have only captain seat functions available. You can remove that middle tray by just tapping that little button right here. And you have that room. So easily just slide it back. Just goes back like that and you're good to go. So really cool. Um, and then of course, show you guys, you got the automatic swing foot activating tailgate back there. That's pretty cool. You got, like I said, platinum all wheel drive. You got the tow hitch with the factory wiring. And then, uh, kind of show you. So let me actually take that third row down. This is with the third row down. It's a ton of room. It's flat. It's awesome. You know, you got a ton of space. You got the JBL sound system right down here show you guys and then of course if you raise that third row up i'll raise that to where i think you'll be comfortable with both people and luggage in the back trunk maybe tilt that slightly tilt that a little bit more i think this is perfect i'll show you guys basically come on that side do that it's an easy get in you just pull this up and you push it forward in the back and then that's what you're looking at you easily enter that third row seat which is also comfortable and spacious for grown people and all that. I'm gonna push this seat all the way to the back so you guys can see. There you go. So this is that second row seat all the way in the back. And I'll tell you, I'm more than comfortable. Check it out. Look, it's comfortable. Um, the headroom, there's no problem with the headroom. My head is not even touching the ceiling, the headliner. So really nice. You got all the room, you got all the space. And of course, this is not even tilted all the way back too. You got ginormous cup holders, you got USB ports, you got air vents. Feels like an airplane, which is great. So, and then this little latch right here, you just push that seat forward all the way for you and you just exit very easily. One step and two steps and you're good to go. Yeah. And these latches down here, you can fold that seat down or you can adjust that just back and forth with that lower latch right there. And finally show you guys again, this is the window sticker. You probably wouldn't be able to see it now, but again, MSRP 56, uh, 624. Again, um, some dealers will do markups, some won't. Let me know what you guys think. It all depends on the area availability and demand, just like anything else really, I mean, uh, the hybrids are in higher demand. Most dealers do mark up the hybrids, gas models. I mean, it depends, you know what I mean? Whether or not it's in stock and things like that. So yeah, guys, that's the walk around. That's the features on the brand new 2024 Grand Highlander Platinum. 
all wheel drive gas model again 2.4 turbo engine uh in terms of specs i'm gonna read it out here to you i i do like the the power by the way they tune it uh, a little nicer you know if i compare that to uh you know a uh, new highlander uh that's a 23 with the 2.4 turbo so just just saying my opinion is that they did a better job with that one in terms of that mechanical so now this is you get i'll show you guys right here you get uh 2.4 liter four turbo engine uh four cylinder turbo eight speed automatic it's 5000 you can actually tow 5000 as well and uh it's an all-wheel drive with multi-terrain monitor select so the total output of the horsepower i want to show it to you guys right here it's about 265 horsepower on that engine which is uh which is pretty good you know it's a, it's a really good for for what what the output is in terms of you know being able to tow with it and both being able to you know produce the gas mileage it does you know it's you know low 20s which for that size of vehicle it's not bad so yeah guys if you have any questions let me know uh that's my walk around of the brand new 24 grand highlander platinum all-wheel drive um great vehicle again availability on the gas models is is better hybrid models are diff more hard to get it takes longer but if you have any questions in the comments let me know um i will remind you again one more time the trim levels you can get on the gas versions are you can have a xle you can have a limited or you can have a platinum just like that the one in the back is a xle and then for the regular hybrid trims you only have a xle or limited trims and then as far as hybrid max you only have limited or platinum so yeah guys if you have any questions let me know comment below like and subscribe that's my walk around of the uh 2024 grand highlander platinum silver on black all-wheel drive there you go guys drive safe thank you and have a great day